Excellent. Phil, do you want to chair it? Because I've got a, I think, 2 or 3% ownership of one of the properties there that Elaine goes through. <laughs> so I think I'm financially conflicted. So, so this is a, item 51? Item 51. Oh, and then how would you like to move at the end of that that you go into public excluded? And when we go into public excluded, we need to add one supplementary um, such that we're dealing with an issue related to the new library that's just come to our attention in the last okay. day or so. so can you remind us that? Yep, so we'll move that just at the end of this to go into yep. PX. And, and then you have five minutes to clear the room and we'll come back and do PX. And that way I can go and get the coffee. What time are you suggesting we come back? Oh, I think you'll be two minutes on this. I'll just go and get coffee and come back. Oh, so, so then go into PX straight away, you mean? Yeah, I'll chair the PX. It's just this one. And then okay. Yeah. And then lunch will just want to be lunch. Well, lunch. well I'm thinking PX will take seven minutes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Good. Okay. So what do we do? PX. After the PX. Rest writing it. Okay. Okay, you're in charge, mate. Okay. Look, um, it's good that Michael's here, perhaps to speak, answer any specific questions around the report. The uh, Infrastructure, Transport and Environment Committee certainly considered this. And you'll be aware from the report that it is a, has been a Sarah-led project, but that council staff have been working closely with Sarah staff to um, to achieve the you know what's been described uh, for around the South Frame area. Now there was an yeah, there was an additional map had been sent to us too, just so people are clear about the geography of of this little part of the street. But I'm sure that Michael will answer any questions that um, councillors have. Can I ask a question? Is it a question? Yeah, questions. Just for clarification. Oh, thank you. So oh, just for clarification, yep. though, because Sarah's controlling this work, paying for it. Yes. But are they working under the, the streets and spaces design guide that we had in and looking at things like exciting lighting and things like that? They are. It, it's all consistent with that uh, streets and public places. Yes. Right, and I see that there's a, there'll be an SPC, a, a consultative process. So are we paying for that, or are we running that? Or? We are running it, and they will <coughs> um, reimburse us for the costs. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Cool. I'll yep. second it. Thank you. So it's been moved and seconded. Any further questions around the um, report, Yanni? Just, I know that there were a number of access issues that were raised. So people generally supported it, but there were some local access issues in terms of service vehicles. Have, have all of those kind of been resolved? Yes, they have. The um, consultation that went out, we've put a summary together and that's come back through Sarah to the ITE committee. But one of the examples, uh, there was an issue with the new businesses that uh, wanted some more access with good services. So we've managed to actually, since the ITE meeting and this meeting, put in one or two tweaks um, into the resolutions that reflect that we can get good services now onto the eastern part of Ash Street to fit in. Um, certainly um, also emergency services, as I mentioned, they've um, uh, been happy with the sweet paths that we've used and also the um, dimensions to allow for the fire services. So um, those were the only access um, issues that were raised. So everyone seems to be happy with what's going ahead. The uh, other question I had was just in terms of timing of the work. Um, given that there's still quite a lot of construction happening in this area, is the timing so that the construction's finished before it goes in, or is it going in ahead of the construction being finalised? Good question. It's um, going in alongside the construction, and the timing for the timeframes to have it produced and completed is very tight to fit in with the business openings there. So its schedule is quite, uh, quite coordinated. Right, so, but we're not going to see any damage to the, 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 the network um, that's been proposed from construction that's not finished or yet to occur in this area? We'd expect that if there was any later damage that's related around the time when the construction is taking place, that, that we would uh, expect Sarah to pick that up. However, um, you know, it could be a year's time from now, you may get someone going in and generally that developer of them would have to be responsible for any damage they did to the services. Um, on the plus side, you know, they're actually going a little bit further with things like the end of um, Ash Street. They're actually picking up some of the work on Madras Street for us to improve those exits as well, which is you know, at no cost to the ratepayer. So, That's great. Um, 
with yeah, they are working alongside quite well. That's good. Thanks, Michael. Um, and Gianni, any further questions? No. We're all good with it. That's great. Just, um, Michael, for clarity, so following the committee's recommendations, I see, uh, which, uh, which was to correct any minor errors, I see on page 102 some additional uh, amendment, um, some additions, and so they're included in what we'll put, what, what we'll decide now. That's what yes. Yeah. So that um, includes aspects of <coughs> part 12, 16 and 17. That's just a note there. Okay. No further discussion. I'll put those resolutions, those in favour. Aye. 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 and against, they're carried. Thank you very much, Michael, your team, and I see Tim here too. Thank you very much for your Thank you. Yourself, Rain. Thanks, Phil. Um, so there's nothing further in the open part of the agenda, is there, Megan? I haven't missed anything. Okay. So I'd like to invite um, Paul Silk and Bob Lynham um, to remain after the public have been excluded, and I'd like to move that the public that the council now moves into public exclusion.